The main two types of timers are timer on delay and timer off delay. And it's usually written on the timer instruction what type of timer that is. Timer on delay instruction usually used to turn on an output on or off after the timer has been on for a preset value. So let's take an example of a timer on delay that is set for 20 seconds and we use an input like a switch. I'm going to use a timer diagram in order to explain the concept and to show the difference between the two timer types. This is the time diagram for the rung. It goes from false to true. And if we have an input in, in the rung, like in our case, we have a switch, then when the input is true, the rung is true. This is showing how long the rung is being true or how long we have kept the switch on. Let's say that the rung stays on for 40 seconds. Whenever the rung is true, the enable bit becomes true as long as the rung is on. The timer is set to time for 20 seconds. So the timer is timing for 20 seconds only. This means the timer timing bit is activated only for 20 seconds. After the 20 seconds, the timer timing bit goes to false. Even if the rung is true, the timer timing bit goes to false after reaching the preset value. The done bit is activated after the timer is done and stays on as long as the rung is true. Once the rung goes to false, the timer done bit resets too. This is how a timer on delay timing diagram looks like for our example. Note here that all the bits work only when the rung is activated. So if the rung is only on or is only true for 10 seconds, then the enable bit will be true and the timer timing bit will be true. But the done bit will not get to be true because it will never reach the preset value of 20 seconds. So keep that in mind when using a timer and you notice that the done bit does not work. Use the timer on delay instruction if you want to program a time delay before an instruction becomes true. So this is an example of a timer on delay. Let's say a garage door that after pressing an open gate button, the garage opens after five second delay. So we use a timer on delay in this case. The other timer type is timer off delay. Use timer off delay instruction if you want to program a time delay to begin after a rung input goes false. The timer off delay works in a little bit different format. The enable bit is true when the rung is true. The timer starts timing when the rung goes to false. And the done bit is on as soon as the rung is true and it stays on until the timer done timing. So one of the example of using a timer off delays, let's say we have an external cooling fan for a motor, is to run all the time the motor is running and for 10 seconds after the motor is turned off. This involves a 10 second off delay timer. The 10 second timer cycle begins when the motor is turned off.